So what does it cost to become a real estate agent here in the state of Texas in 2020? We're gonna talk about that coming up. Hey, thanks for hanging out with me today. Hey, if you're a new agent or if you're just thinking about getting into the real estate business, you may wanna hit that subscribe button because I talk about real estate every week. Now, last year I did, a, I did a video about the cost of becoming a real estate agent, what it actually cost me back in 2016. And I got, a, I got affiliated with a Real Estate Express and I got to look at some of their costs. And I, so I went back and I looked at that video to see like, well, what does it cost now versus what I actually paid back in 2016? Well, there's a big difference right now. So back in 2016, as you can see here, I paid a little over $1,000 to become a real estate agent here in the state of Texas. Now, looking at this through Real Estate Express, I mean, some of these costs are through Trek. As you can see here, you're still gonna have your app fee, which is gonna be $205. You're gonna have the real estate recovery fee, which is $10. You're gonna have that background finger uh, fingerprint, which is $38.25. Uh, and then you're gonna have your tests, which are $54. Now, some of these are gonna have taxes uh, that are gonna be added onto them, but that get, kind of gives you an idea of what you're gonna need. But one of the things that you're gonna need to do, you're gonna have to get that 180 hours of education before you can even go to this application uh, process. So one thing I do want to prepare you for that was a little bit different than, than my exams back in 2016 is that you, Today in 2020, you're gonna to have to be proctored. What that means is someone's gonna to have to uh, oversee you taking your exams. And also, you're gonna to have to have seat time. And seat time is they're gonna require you to actually be in front of a computer working and to get these credit of 180 hours. Back when I took it, you didn't have that. Uh, you know, you had to pay, pass your test and submit them and then go take your test. So keep, in, keep that in mind, make sure you have enough time to do that uh, and prepare. So if you have a full-time job right now, you wanna make sure you're prepared after work, weekends, whenever you're gonna do this, just make sure you set aside plenty of time to do this. Now, like I just previously mentioned, uh, with my uh, practice exams, my courses, uh, and my tests and everything like that, I paid over $1,000 just to be able to become the licensed. Now, that's before I joined any kind of MLS group or anything like that, so it was just over $1,000. But today, man, you can actually get in right around $600. Now, you can spend a little bit more money and go full-blown and do all the, the books and, and have someone there you can talk to full-time, a little bit more money there. But if it's up to you, if you, you just wanna go through and get these exams done, then you know spend that spend that six just a little over 600 bucks total so as you can see right here here's kind of the, some of the steps that you're going to need to take to to get prepared to be licensed here in the state of texas now all this i'm talking about does not include the mls fees that you're going to be joining because i'm not for sure where you're going to join but i'll put a link below uh to the to the mls groups that i'm a member of down here in austin and in north texas I'm also going to put a link to my affiliate, Real Estate Express, down below. Click on that. Go check it out. You don't have to be in the state of Texas. Be anywhere nationwide, but you'll see there's some discount savings there. I hope this video helps out. Message me below if you have any questions or if you have any other idea of videos that you want me to talk about. Anyway, thanks for hanging out. See you next time. Extended spring break. Mm -hmm. Is that a good thing? All right, just trying to do a video here.